volunteers out there to help us and start swinging some hammers and get this house built for Miss Sabrina. She's just a lovely lady. Of course, she's a honorably discharged veteran that served in the Army, and uh, she's anxious to get in her new house, and we're anxious to get it built for her. This is a wonderful project that the Habitat for Humanity is taking the lead on, of course, the uh, Veterans Village. Yes. So for those of you, a lot of people in Putnam know, but uh, a lot of newcomers in, and here's an opportunity to help out a veteran. Absolutely, and uh, we provide community service hours for those kids that are trying to get their scholarship hours, or if you got in a little trouble and you need some probation hours, <laughs> we can give those to you. And uh, we start at 8 o'clock. The Veterans Village of Palaka is located off of Westover Drive. Um, if you want to Google map it, it's 1603 Westover Drive, but we have a brand new paved road there, Frank B. Oliver Way, and there's a large sign there that says Veterans Village of Palaka. So uh, we start at 8 a.m., we knock off about noon, we provide lunch and t-shirts, and there's community service hours if you need some. <laughs> well, and the thing, last week I suspect part of that is the last weekend before people were going back to, kids are going back to school. So That's it's true. like family, maybe family time. Absolutely. Because you had a lot of help. Well, the first time we ever had nobody show up, so um, we're really trying to plug it. And I know it's very hot, but we'll give you lots of breaks, and we have lots of hydration, so... Please come out and help if you can. We really appreciate it. And here's what you need to realize. You do not have to be a finished carpenter. Absolutely. All, all skill sets are accepted. Um, you do need to be 18, or if you're 16, you can um, come as long as you have a parent sign a waiver for you. So uh, it, this is a good, well, this is an awful good program. Um, and it, as you say, it is hot, but really and truly, the four hours that you all work are not going to be so and uh, what a great thing to help somebody. It is. It's, it's very rewarding. Um, and they are so appreciative whenever they get into their own home. It's just a quality of life they haven't had before. So uh, take the opportunity and uh, show you're thankful for what you've got. So Absolutely. Uh, if you want more information, give me a call, 386-325-5585. Sorry about that. 325-5862, or you can email me at director at putnamhabitat.org. We'd love to see some groups come in, um, so call me up and let me know. Typically, 8 to 10 is a good size for this size build. We don't want too many people because they are smaller houses, yeah. Um, but yeah, call and, call and get a group scheduled for me. I'd love to have you. And that's going to happen this Saturday, and I'm assuming the next couple of Yes, ma'am. Yep. So... If you can't, if for some reason you can't make it, go ahead and call Ramika, and she will, she will sell you on the project. That's right. And if you just give me your email address, we'll put you on our e-blast so you know what's going on every Saturday. I kind of give an update so you know Great. what we're working on. Well, I'm gonna get you to put me on that list. Awesome. Thank you, Marcia. <laughs> Thank you, Ramika, for coming in today. Uh, let me see. We want. I wanted to mention. Oh, uh, I did want to mention they are talking um, that uh, St. John's River Water Management. Uh, district talking, um, apparently we had a good rainy month last month, uh, about 10 inches of rain, but uh, this they're talking it's getting a little dry in certain spots. We in Putnam, Flagler, and St. John's are not part of where it's a little bit dry. So just uh, district-wide, they say the July rainfall average for, was around 7 inches. So, But for other parts, such as us, it's around 10 inches. So just remember that is going on. Didn't want to mention over in Flagler County, they had a, they have had the uh, craziest time with the Bunnell City Commission. On Monday, they voted three to one to appoint Pete Young um, to fill the seat vacated by the resignation of Robert Barnes, who was filling a seat that someone else had uh, stepped down from the commission, and then the, this Barnes had won election, but because of health reasons, he stepped, he has had to step down. Uh, Pete Young will be a name familiar to people in that in the uh, Bunnell area. Uh, he served on the commission between 2006 and 2008, and he actually used to be um, the Bunnell uh, on the Bunnell Police Force, I think, when there was about one officer. <laughs> so he's very familiar with the area, which is always a plus when it comes to having a commissioner. Uh, so just a reminder of that. Um, now a reminder. This is the coolest thing I happened to see on uh, Facebook. 
Don't tell me Facebook doesn't work. Uh, at least if you've got as uh, weird a list as I do, I think. I don't, I don't know how I got you. This is a, a couple. Um, Renee Go, uh, Gomez and uh, Alan Franklin. Franklin. Yes. See, I didn't write that down in time. Um, <laughs> they have me, you, and the chickens farm. Yes, we do. Yeah. I had, and they are about to do a. They have y'all have a, like a community of, of of individuals who are who are um, interested in various things about farming in their own little community. Yeah. We, <laughs> okay. Thank you. We just started a community a community farming support group, mm -hmm. um, and it's for members. It, it doesn't have to be just Putnam County, but you know for travel purposes. Maybe, you know, if you want to drive that far, that's fine. You're welcome. But most most of them are here in Putnam County, and they come out. We do all kinds of things. We do seed exchanges. We do skills classes. Um, pretty much we're learning to be more self-sufficient, and we're gathering up the community. It's an in-person thing, so it's not your typical Facebook group where it's like virtual meetings. These are actual in-person meetings. We all come together at our house, <laughs> and um, we meet, and we go over all these things, and we learn things. We're planning a fishing trip with the kids, and, you know, the adults, too, that don't know how to fish, because I don't. Um, so we're doing a lot of things. Oh, and, and this weekend, actually, Saturday, we're having a plant trade. So we're actually going to be trading plants to help each other grow up our plants and what we're raising and growing mm -hmm. and, and all that. Well, I, you know, the neatest picture, speaking of not being on, uh, doing face-to-face -face stuff, uh, just y'all sitting out in like what looks like a little arbor or something or a that, backyard. That's yeah. exactly what it was, too. <laughs> and actually, uh, Ramika here bought us a tarp, so we're going to cover it now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> just in case yeah. it rains. <laughs> just in case it rains, absolutely. And a lot of the things that we're doing, we're actually a lot of the things that we're doing, we're actually going to try to uh, digitize them too. So uh, later on, some of the classes will be available on our uh, Facebook page, which is Me, You, and the Chickens Farm on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. That you'll be able to take advantage later on after the class is done mm -hmm. and, and take a look at some of the things that were going on in the class. Yeah. I thought it was really interesting that Seth mentioned like uh, beekeeping. You had a beekeeper? Oh. We do have somebody in the group that does beekeeping. Um, we don't beekeep yet. We'd like right. to, but you know, it's it's a goal. So that is something definitely we want to learn how to do. And there's tons of things that you can learn to do, and that we'll be going over. And all of our members, everybody has something that they know how to do, and we're all willing to teach each other. It's sharing knowledge, share you know, share, trade, barter, all of that. I think right now with people so concerned about what's happening, uh, what's what's going to happen with food, yes, <laughs> that there and I, you know, it's funny. I so many of us in this country have a farming background, and some, you know, it may have been our great 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 grandfather, yeah, but exactly. but or grandmother, but you know, we have that, uh, and and how many people don't maybe plant at least a. A seed or two or a tomato. <laughs> who, who of us does not buy a, a tomato plant to die? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. You, these are skills that are being lost, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want to see them die with our generation. You know, we need to teach the kids. We need to teach each other. They need to keep going. We need to be able to do these things. You know, it's, it's just what you have to do. And with the things that are changing in the world now, Kind of necessary. It's and, yeah, and the current climate is what spurred us into I was going to ask homestead, okay. uh, homesteading uh, <laughs> adventure. Uh, we started out with just what <laughs> just uh, one flock of uh, yeah. barn rocks and a flock of Pekin ducks. That's what we started out with. That's not what it is now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and the, and the community is about uh, sharing resources and definitely. So we may lack um, skills oh, yeah. that others definitely have. So we're all bringing all of these skills and throwing them in the pot 
and hoping for the best. Yeah, we have an upcoming sewing class. We have oh, okay. an upcoming class on the basic care and upkeep of baby chicks. Um, and plenty more classes. We have a volunteer that's going to be assisting us in fishing. Um, so, but that's not planned yet for a date, but it's mm -hmm. upcoming. Um, it's, it's really great. It's great. And we have our first meeting. There was a lot of people. About 30, I would have said. There was a lot of people there. I did. I was shocked. I was around 30. That, I mean, that is yeah. impressive. I didn't even know what to say to everybody because I didn't, <laughs> even though I invited them, I didn't expect everybody to show up. The but they did. did. Yeah. They did. And it was wonderful. And it's just motivated us to do more. So if somebody's interested in getting involved, well, if, if you want to get involved, you can definitely contact us on our Facebook page, which is Me, You, and the Chickens Farm mm -hmm. on Facebook. We're, we're on other social media platforms, too, like YouTube. We're on TikTok, okay. Instagram. So any of the social media platforms, you just put in Me, You, and the Chickens Farm. And you'll probably be talking to Renee because she handles most of the <laughs> uh, people communications. Yeah. So um, just send her a message. And yeah. then you can join our group uh, after she talks to you, lays down the groundwork and the rules for the group. Yeah, because it's not your typical Facebook group. So you, it's not just virtual. Right, right. This so is, like, there's a requirement that you need to come. You know, that's how you build relationships and bonds with your community. You have to do that in person. You can't, can't do that virtually. You're right. So it is definitely a requirement. So we have questions, and it's the Community Farming Support Group on Facebook, um, and it's for anybody local or anybody that wants to make the drive. We actually have somebody who lives in Georgia that's oh my coming Lord. down yeah. to wow. go to this meeting. Of course, he can't make every single one, but <laughs> he's, he's going to be But he's coming. certainly showing up, yes. whatever, of faith. Yeah, yes. so uh, and I, I'm not going to say where y'all live, but you live over in the Satsuma area. Yeah, Satsuma area. Yeah, so... Just so you know, it's South Putnam, but a great spot to go. Anyway, we thank you so much for coming in, and we will uh, talk to you folks tomorrow. Have a thank good you. day. And thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, then. Thank you so much, Marcia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can move buttons on here and uh, get things together. we got a uh, break coming up. And